friends welcome to this today's video session of how to become energy manager and energy auditor part 7 in last session we have discussed about the exam registration through online form filling on be website www.aipnpc.org which was started from 20 june 2019 The last date is 19 July 2019 for this online form filling and after that you have to take hard copy of the application form along with the attachment and this should reach National Productivity Council on or before 23rd July 2019 Hope friends you may have registered for this exam by online form filling and if you have any difficulty in this you please comment to us we will reply to your comments in today's session we will discuss about exam syllabus and study tips today we will discuss only about energy manager exam and in next session we will discuss about energy auditor exam so friends for preparing for this energy manager exam first to qualify this exam one has to clear all the three papers namely paper 1 paper name is general aspect of energy management and energy audit paper date is 21st september 2019 paper duration is 3 hour paper time is 9:30 am to 12:30 pm that is 3 hours minimum passing marks are 75 maximum marks you can score up to 150 so pa- second paper is energy efficiency in thermal utilities paper date is 21st september 2019 paper duration is 3 hours paper time is 2 pm in afternoon to 5 pm then minimum passing marks for qualify this paper is 75 maximum marks you can score up to 150 third paper is energy efficiency in electrical utility paper date is 22 september 2019 duration of paper is 3 hours time is 9:30 am to 12:30 pm minimum passing marks are 75 maximum marks you can score up to 1 150 this is paper 4 which is for energy auditor So friends out of these three papers degree of difficulty in paper 2 is more than paper 1 and paper 3 as in paper 2 slightly tricky and numerical questions will be asked and we can say that it is similar to paper 4 that is auditor energy auditor paper that is energy performance assessment but this paper 2 difficulty level is less than this paper 4 so one so also we can say that it is a trial of paper 4 this paper 2 is trial of paper 4 then today we will share our experience for preparation for this exam and we are sure that if you follow this procedure you can surely crack this exam without any external classes and by doing only self study so paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 mark distribution is as follows objective questions which will be asked in this paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 will be of 50 marks and descriptive and numerical questions will be asked will be asked of 100 marks so total 150 marks so friends if you answer all the objectives correctly you may get 50 marks directly or if you answer 80% of objective correctly you may get 40 marks directly and from our experience uh, getting 50 marks is possible so to reach passing marks of 75 to qualify you to qualify in this exam in this paper you have to score additional 25 marks or 30 marks from rest 100 marks descriptive and numerical questions as per our experience most objectives are from all previous exam solved papers and rest from guide books only and all descriptive and numerical questions are mostly based on previous exam solved papers or answer logic 
and on this guide books hence while studying you have to read or study paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 guide book at least one time before 20 to 25 days of exam so that last 20 and 25 days you can spend in studying or solving all previous year solved questions papers so that you can get familiarize or memorize with the logics of questions and answers as most of the questions and answers most of the questions will be repeated from this previous exam solved papers if you are from mechanical engineering background then try to study paper 3 and paper 2 first and then paper 1 and if you are electrical engineering background then try to start study from paper 2 this is because as paper 1 is on general study of energy management and energy auditing means paper 2 is common to both electrical and mechanical engineering whereas paper 2 is mechanical engineering based and paper 3 is electrical engineering based and with this you can cover syllabus in time means you can cover by following this procedure you may cover your syllabus in time then try to note down the key formulas or equations or or any other uh, uh, important point, point chapter wise on separate paper or notebook from guide books or previous exam solved papers which you can use for revision before appearing for exam and are useful after exam or energy manage uh, manager or energy auditing works friends we have uh, observed this that after at the time of exam uh, we do not remember some formulas or equations so at that time you uh, you may uh, you may require this uh, formulas or equation handy so for this while studying from beginning you follow this procedure the previous exam solved papers can be downloaded from be website but this time be has uploaded previous exam papers up to 15th exam only that is last 5 years papers are uploaded this time and uh, friends we i i am having some uh, collection of this uh, papers up to 2, 2002 which i will try to upload in coming sessions so once you understand the logic of questions and answers from previous exam solved papers then you can write answers to the questions which are based on this logic that is if you solve this uh, or study this previous exam question papers you get idea of how questions are asked in uh, this uh, paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 question papers and and uh, you get idea how to answer this Uh, questions so you you become uh, prepare for answering this questions of paper 1 and paper 2 and paper 3 so time duration for this paper is 3 hours for each paper 1 to 3 which is sufficient for paper 1 and 3 but for paper 2 as numerical and tricky questions are asked you may feel short of time so you have to to plan accordingly at at solving this paper too if you are having spare time you may study paper 4 short questions which is for auditor exam as sometimes we are experience that some questions uh, which are asked in paper 2 are from paper 4 short questions so if you if you are full time employed person and are appearing first time for this exam then uh, we feel that you should have to take at least 15 days leave period to this exam for exam preparation and to tune your mind for this exam hope the above tips will help you for exam preparation and to qualify in energy manager exam the next video will be on study tips and syllabus discussion for energy auditor exam thank you thank you